Hello viewers welcome back so this is part 3 of our series of session on f12 configuration for voucher type in this session we will see couple of more options so that with these options once you understand how these options behave you can make use of these options to make your data entry much much easier and also get more clarity on the information let us now go to tally and then check this options let us now go inside the voucher and we are in the payment voucher press f12 configuration so in the previous session we learnt about want for negative cash balance and also we learnt the benefit of pre allocate bill for payment receipt and journal voucher this is going to really help when you are making payment for multiple invoices okay today we will see another option called show list of bills for selection by default this option is going to be yes now what happens if we make this option to no so the option says show list of bill for selection so that means whenever you are making a payment or you are making a receipt entry now one thing i just want to uh, bring to the notice of all the viewers here that whatever simple configuration that we are seeing here in the payment voucher the same configuration is available for receipt voucher also so what we understand here in the payment voucher we will see in the receipt voucher also the same configuration or the same option so we will go to the next option we will go to the receipt voucher and we will see the configuration and we will see the impact of the configuration so this is going to show you the list of bill when you are making a payment or receipt so if we make this as no what happens let us see so i we set this as no and you press control a and we are in the payment voucher let's say i select a supplier called global distributors so we get the bill wise detail because we have made pre allocate bill for as yes that is why before entering the amount we are seeing the bill wise detail sub screen opening for selection okay so i say against reference and you see here the list of bill which are pending is not getting displayed so let us first see whether are there any bills which are pending so we go back again press f12 configuration and let's come back here and make this as yes control a and now when i say against reference see you notice that there are four bills pending okay so why do we need to make this option as no so this is a very rare case where you can make use of this option let's say that uh, in your office a data entry operator is going to uh, make the payment entry or receipt entry but you don't want that person to select the pending bills which a senior person or a senior accountant would want to check the pending bill and then set it off against the pending bill but the payment entry needs to go on so by making this option no when you select against reference you will not get any bill pending so let's say i am selecting global and now when i say against reference no bill is going to come so which means by setting this option i am not going to set off against reference but then i have an option of setting it off as advance as a new reference generally we will not select new reference in case of a payment or a receipt entry then you could always you know give instruction to the data entry saying that okay whatever entry that you are making just set this option to show list of bill for selection as no and uh, let the person do the entry by selecting on account and make the entry so on account i am going to make the entry say 1 lakh enter end of list then i'm going to make the payment okay 
now a senior person can come to these transactions so he can come to the day book let's say now he comes and reviews it at the end of the day so he comes to day book okay and here we have this global distributors payment i can come here and then now in my login i will not have this as no so i am going to set this as yes enter and now i am going to say against reference and this 1 lakh can be now set off against any of the pending bill based on the payment that you are making okay so that is where this a simple option of show list of bill for selection is there okay the next option is an interesting option so what is this option show final balance for each bill so by default again this is no you can go and set it up as yes right so for this now i am going to go to receipt voucher and show you the same configuration which we are seeing now in the payment voucher is going to be available in the receipt voucher also so let's let me start from the beginning so we go to vouchers and then i press f6 for receipt and i'm going to press f12 configuration and if you notice here we are seeing the same options even in the receipt voucher so let's now go to the show final balance so by default this is going to be no so let us see what is the difference by making this as yes first we will see what is the list of bill table that we are going to view if this option is no right so i'm setting this as option as no and let's say we are receiving payment from our customer called india mart okay i enter and now i'm going to say against reference now when i say against reference it is going to give me my bill reference it is going to give me the uh, date of the invoice and it is going to give me the balance pending so if you notice here india mart invoice number 17 18 okay uh, balance amount is 55000 and 40000 and in case of invoice number 9 19 the balance amount is 150000 right so let's go back now and then make this option show final balance for each bill i make this as yes and we will see a change right now you see here suddenly you are seeing the final balance is zero for invoice number 17 18 and for invoice number 19 out of the balance amount of 1 lakh 50000 1 lakh is the final final amount so why this difference and what is the uh, understanding that we have uh, by looking into this final balance and how did this final balance become zero is what we need to understand right so the advantage of you know enabling this option called show final balance for each bill is at times you would be receiving say post dated check and if you recall in in my bill wise details session we had discussed about the behavior of post dated check and the impact in the reporting including the post dated check so if you enable this option of show final balance for each bill tally is going to consider all the post stated check that you have received against a reference or you have made a payment against the reference and even though as on today the balance is what the current balance is going to be shown as balance but considering the future post stated check that you have received or paid while making the payment tally is going to show you what is the final balance that is pending considering the post dated check that's the uh, additional information that you are going to get where the post dated check is going to get considered for your bill pending okay so how does this post dated check disappear 
so we will go to the ledger uh, outstanding balance of india mart and then we will see so we don't have to go back through menu all you need to do is press alt g and then you say ledger outstanding okay select india mart okay now you will see here invoice number 17 the opening amount is 1 lakh 50 the pending amount is 55 right but then just now we saw that the final balance 55 is also being received 40 is also being received and out of 1 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh is pending that is what we saw in the final bill right so how does this happen so let's say alt f1 now you will see here the sales invoice was made on 2nd December, 1,50,000 and on 2nd December, you have received 95. That is how 55,000 balance pending is what getting displayed here. The second invoice 18, you have made a sale on 6th of December, the sale amount of 40,000. The next one is 19, bill number 19, amount pending is 1,50,000. Right? Now, the report that we are seeing here is as on 15th of January. Now, there is a post-stated entry which has been made for India Mart, which if you want to see if there are any post-stated transactions for this particular party, all you need to do is click on basis of value. Once you click on basis of value, you have this option called include post-stated voucher. Just press enter. It toggles to yes and no. You can just press escape or control A. And now you will notice here that on 31st January, there is a receipt entry and three bills have been set off against this receipt entry of 31st January, which is a future date. As far as this company is concerned, you will notice here the current date is 15th of January. Right. So now let's go into this particular receipt entry, select the receipt voucher, press enter, and you will see here that it is set of 55,000, 40,000 and 50 against invoice number 9 has been set off against reference, which is a post-stated entry dated 31st of January, right? So now when you are going and making uh, or making an entry for any future receipt, so we are going to make an entry on 15th of January. So you come here and select India Mart. Now, when you select against reference, Tally is going to consider your post-rated check. And now it is going to tell you, even though as on date, as on 15th of January, this is the pending. But if I consider the post-rated entry that you have already made in the company, the final balance of invoice number 17 is 0, 18 is 0. Out of the total amount of 1,50,000, 50,000 has been received as a post-stated entry. So it reduces that 50,000 and then it says the final balance is 1 lakh. Invoice number 20, obviously the balance and the final balance is 75,000. So this is where this option again is going to be very helpful in organizations where you have this concept of accepting and issuing post-stated voucher for you to get to know the final balance when you're making a receipt entry or payment entry. I hope these options would be helpful to you. And in the next session, we will explore more options. So thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.